Hey guys, welcome back to Ancestral Healing. Today we are going to be talking about natural flavors. Have you heard about them? Natural flavors are added to foods to make them appear healthy. You may have seen natural flavors in your lime flavored bubbly water, in your yogurt, even in your Hellman's mayonnaise. LaCroix is a great example of a brand who markets themselves as healthy, gluten-free, vegetarian, kosher, and GMO-free. There has been so much hype around that brand and how healthy their bubbly water is, and people actually do believe that it is a healthy alternative. Their ingredients include carbonated water and natural flavor. Actually, they say natural essences. Interestingly enough, there was a class action lawsuit filed against them. The lawsuit claims that LaCroix's all natural claims are false and that actually the natural ingredients are synthetic. In fact, as the filing states, testing reveals that LaCroix contains a number of artificial ingredients, including linalool, which is used in cockroach and testicide. So I did a little digging and I found out that the high profile lawsuit has been dropped with both parties agreeing to cover their own costs after the plaintiff retracted her allegations. I wonder what happened there, but we'll move on. So that we can understand natural flavors a little bit, I'm going to explain. Although natural flavors derive from natural sources, they contain artificial and synthetic chemicals that are added during the manufacturing process. So I see two major issues with natural flavors. One of them is the one that I just mentioned. Natural flavors often have added ingredients in them, like preservatives and stabilizers, to make the flavors work better in the food. But the thing is, those additional ingredients don't have to come from a natural food source. And I bet you, 99.999% of the time, they don't come from a natural food source. The second thing that I think is insanely wrong with natural flavors is that the FDA doesn't actually require for companies to disclose the other ingredients that are used when making natural flavors. So it is impossible to actually know what falls under the umbrella of that single one apparent ingredient in your food natural flavor. It takes a lot of ingredients to make that one natural flavor and companies are not required to disclose that. Companies are able to label an ingredient as natural as long as 80% of that ingredient was derived from a natural source. So what happens to the other 20%? The remaining 20% could be anything and that often includes additives and chemicals that are harming our health. When you are consuming anything with natural flavor as an ingredient, understand that it could have taken up to 100 other ingredients to come up with that one natural flavor. It's quite misleading and sad and disturbing to say the least. I personally do not want to be ingesting propylene glycol, BHT, BHA. I don't even know what that is. So why do I make this video? I make this video because I want to bring awareness. We need to stop eating processed food. It doesn't matter what type of diet, what type of lifestyle you follow. The first thing you can do today and the first thing you should do is stop eating processed food. Eat raw, unprocessed, untouched food, food that comes from the earth, food that has been provided to us by nature. Do not support these companies. That's how we can get together and actually make a change. Stop giving your money to these companies. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today and I wish you a wonderful week ahead. If you're looking to upgrade your lifestyle, to eat better, healthier food, to feel better, you can check out my guide to ancestral ebook. I'll post it in the description below. Thank you guys so much for all your support. Don't forget to watch the other two videos on the screen. Take care.